Hello everyone, I want to do a recording to give you a summary on the NZXT situation and um, kind of share my thoughts regarding the whole thing. I'm going to be putting this in the gaming category because NZXT products are used by gamers or are gamers who also stream. With that said, I'll give you the summary now. Summary is that Gamers Nexus, Jace Two Cents, and others have been posting videos on the whole matter. The issue stems from the screw used to keep the um, PCIe riser in place. The screw in question can cause a fire, or it can result in damage to the video card. So if it doesn't cause a fire, there's a good chance that it can damage the video card. Um, Gamers Nexus has basically said that NZXT should just do a full recall and um, kind of step up their efforts to like truly fix the situation over the lifetime of the product rather than use a band-aid solution like send out nylon screws to people. Jay's two cents is kind of echoing this and more or less saying that he thinks that NZXT is dragging their heels on this whole recall. And then he went and showed a workaround that you could do right now. It's a really good one, so it's in the this video, but I will link it in the description. His workaround um, is using zip ties uh, to anchor the PCIe riser in place, which is pretty smart, actually. So that's kind of the summary of the H1 case fire and kind of where we're at with NZXT. Now, I want to talk about some things that kind of happened prior to the case fire, things that have prompted me to avoid NZXT as a company. I always pay attention to reviews as best I can. I will only pull reviews from reputable sources. So that's going to be Kit Guru, Gamers Nexus, Jay's Two Cents, and a few others. They're the only people that I will pay attention to when it comes to review or discussion. If there is a bad review, or at least not a glowing review, then that gives me more reason to go elsewhere. Point in case with NZXT. Their H5 series just is not that high quality of a case, as Gamers Nexus has proven with his past reviews. There are higher quality cases for roughly the same price range um, like Cooler Master and Silverstone. They all sell cases within about the price range of the H5. They're just overall higher quality. So obviously I'm going to be looking elsewhere. Yes, I know you shouldn't just avoid a company over, you know, three incidences or something like that. Um, but given that there are higher quality out there, then obviously I'm just going to avoid it and go to the higher quality. But that's just the H5 series. Um, we have another issue with NZXT, and that is with their uh, NZXT build program. So let me show you this so you can see what I'm talking about. So if you go to the NZXT build page, you're going to scroll down and see that Ninja and Dr. Lupo are mentioned right here on the page. We'll get back to that in a minute because uh, that's a problem. But the problem I want to focus on right now is the configuration. To most people, they'll be like, ah, this is not a problem, but it actually is. Here's why. When people buy brand name computers, they just want it to function out of the box. They don't want to mess with anything in it. That's why they buy brand name computers. Because if you hand build it, it's going to have the potential for issues, although I haven't really ran into many issues. But there is always a potential for that, so they just buy brand name because they don't have to think about anything, nor run the risk of these problems. Well, the issue here is related to that, because if you'll notice, it's using a 5600X for the processor, a 3070, and 16 gigs of RAM. The problem here is in the RAM. I can understand 16 gigs being in a build if it's like an RX 580, because with an RX 580, you're not going to be maximizing graphics or um, fully utilizing the RAM. In that particular situation, it really doesn't matter. So you can just shove 16 gigs of RAM in here. But this is a 3070 we're talking about. 3070s 
are meant to pull max graphics at 1440p. That means they need 32 gigs of RAM in this system. Why? It's because a lot of games coming out now, and some that are already out, specifically state in their system requirements that you need 16 gigs of RAM to max out their graphics. Meaning that for this to be a better bill, you need to use 32 gigs of RAM, not 16. That would make it a better brand name because now it's highly unlikely that the person using this PC will have to upgrade at a later date. With 32 gigs of RAM, they could probably just use this computer for like five or six years without touching a thing and then buy a brand new computer when it's necessary. So you need 32 gigs of RAM if you're going to be using a higher end video card, not 16. Let's come back to this whole thing up here. Okay, so the issue with NZXT build, having this right here, this whole Ninja and Lupo thing, is that people see that and it reinforces their purchase decision. Just like Call of Duty Warzone, um, when it comes to these brand names, uh, on you, when you talked about these brand names on YouTube, Twitch, or the other places, it's just like Warzone in which it's a, it's a case of monkey see, monkey do. Uh, if one streamer says, you know, this is what they use and it's working out for them, then people will be like, oh, hey, it's working out for the streamer. Then they come to the website and see this, and they're like, oh, hey, Ninja Dr. Lupo's name is on this. Yeah, that's awesome. I can see why this streamer is buying this PC. So that doesn't help the case at all. Because now people are like, they they got like two reasons to do it now. Not only do they have a streamer telling them it's fine, but now they also got this going on. I would hope that if Ninja cares about his his name and um, well brand name and his community, that he would request to have this removed, because this right here, this is a main driving factor for people buying NZXT build, which sucks because there are better quality computers out there. There are better companies than this. And people are buying it because of his name. So it's a two-factor situation with the NZXT build is what I'm coming to. Okay, so now that we have that all discussed, let me just go ahead and like talk about some other brand names. So um, I'm looking into Artesian builds as of late to see if it's worth my recommendation. Right off the bat, I'm already hesitant because as I learned from one of the Artesian uh, live stream builds is that they do use NZXT. Based on somebody's question that I observed in the chat, they were uh, basically saying that NZXT is a supplier of them, so that's why they use NZXT cases because they have a lot of them. So that's already kind of a red flag to me. But let's go ahead and just kind of like talk about some of the other stuff here. So we're going to click on this, and we can see right away that they do give you a lot of options in terms of what you can use for the CPU. Uh, don't agree with this right here. This should be a B550 standard or X570 because, again, people buy brand names so they don't have to think about anything. So nobody's going to think, well, the people that, sh that more than likely buy brand names won't be thinking about changing that kind of option. I'll get back to them in a minute. but. That should be standard, so that's already a mistake on my part, on that part. I think that that should be a B550 standard, especially with a 3600. Um, let's see, and then you do have the option of 32 gigs for $80 more. That's perfectly fine, so that's good. 3060 Ti. Oh, okay, that's cool. So they do have a, I have my own thing. That's That's awesome. Props to that. That's something I almost never see with built, uh, brand names. So that's awesome because then that means that if they don't have a good selection here, you can handle it yourself. Oh, that's a problem right there. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm starting to see here is... Ooh, that's the NZXT case, isn't it? Yeah, those are all NZXT cases, I think. Wait, hold on. 
Seven six two. Yeah, it looks like one two. Yeah, that's well. That one's definitely one two eight two. Which one is this one? That's NZX. Yeah, so there's literally no options for NZXT. So yeah, just looking at this right now, live, like I'm already detecting a couple of issues. One, there's not an option other than NZXT cases. Two, uh, B550 is not standard. I know that B550 motherboards are gonna be more expensive than your B450s, but there's a very specific reason that I, I, I state people should do it. It's so if at a later date, if the person needs to upgrade or change something, then they can. B550s are going to do that a lot easier than B450s. Yes, you can update the firmware for the B450 uh, to work with other processors, but the issue is you run the risk of instability or issues. This is exactly what I've seen with a bunch of Twitch streamers. Is they have a B450 motherboard, then they update the firmware, move to another processor, and then it has issues. Sure, it's not common, but it happens. That's the point. So just to avoid issues, and knowing that people want simplicity out of the box, it's just better to do B550 when it comes to brand name. Now, if it's a hand built, then more than likely that person knows this kind of stuff, so they know how to avoid it and so on and so forth. But point being, that should be B550 standard. So yeah, so, so you, you can see right here with this example with Artesian, like they do some things right, but then there's just like, red flags elsewhere so it's really hard to find a brand name that can do it right is what i'm coming to but um yeah that's really all i can say on this matter um thanks for listening